Welcome to the 13th video in the series MVMED Unfolded, a complete guide to the MVMED software. In the last video, we explained the general model area settings in spaces. In this video, we will explain how to construct your model area as well as how to use the 3D view. We will start with the spaces program opened and our project selected. On the left side of the screen, we can see a variety of information and functions that allow us to construct our model area. Starting from the top, we have the current LSN and grid coordinates of where our cursor is in our model. The next section contains the various elements that we can create, from buildings and vegetation, to soils and surfaces, and even pollution sources. For this video, we will primarily focus on the Buildings tab. Under this tab, we can find the Add option, which when selected allows us to place building grid cells with the left mouse button. If we want to remove building cells, we can select the Delete option and remove cells by left-clicking. We can see a number appear in each cell that we place. This number is the height in meters of the building cell in that particular location. We can edit the height of the building cells we are placing here. We can also edit the height of the bottom of the building cells as well. This value is of course defaulted to zero, because most buildings extend from the ground to a specific height. However, we can use this heading to create overhangs or tunnels in the building. If we select the bottom building height of 3 meters for example, and add this to our building all the way from one side to the other, we will have a built tunnel through our structure. This will be more visible once we switch to 3D view. We can choose the material the walls and roofs of our buildings will be made out of, as well as the type of facade and roof greening in the lower section on the left. The top button in both the material section and the greening section refers to placing a specific wall material. The bottom button on the other hand refers to placing the roof material. These buttons can be activated and deactivated by clicking on them. To now build with different materials however, we first need to be in the detail design mode, which we will cover later in this video. Alternatively, we can right-click on a building we have already drawn and click Apply Materials or Greenings. We can create as many buildings as we like using the tools on the left side of the screen. We can also create larger buildings faster by clicking on this button here, which allows us to draw a 2x2 grid pattern instead of a 1x1 pattern. Once we have our buildings how we want them, we can go into 3D view by clicking this button here. Once the 3D view loads, we can see our buildings in our model area in 3D. We can now also see the effect of placing building cells with a raised button value, as seen by the tunnel we created through this building here. The biggest advantage of the 3D view is that it allows us to place specific materials like glass on the facades of our buildings. To do this, we need to click the button here labeled Convert to Detail Design. After clicking Yes, we can interact with the facades of our buildings. We now need to click on the editing function entitled Individual Segment. This option is grayed out and unavailable until we have converted our model area with the Detail Design button. With this function selected, we can now see highlighted building facade cells as we pass over them with our cursor. If we now change our wall material to glass and then click on the facade cell, we can add windows accurately to our building. The same idea applies for roofs as well as for greening effects. If we select a greening material next to the roof option here, we can place greening structure to our building's roof. Selecting this option here allows us to better see the structure of our created buildings. Creating other features in our model area, such as vegetation, is also quite easy. We can simply click on the Vegetation tab and then choose between simple and 3D plants. For this example, we will choose a small tree and place it with the left mouse button. We can also place soils and surfaces in spaces. For that, we simply go to the Soil and Surface tab. There we can pick a surface we would like and hand place it like we did with the building cells. We can also click on this button here to completely fill our model area with a particular type of surface. If the colors of the surfaces are distracting, we can toggle them on or off by selecting or deselecting this option here. It is very important to keep in mind that our model area settings cannot be changed after converting to detail design mode without losing all of our 3D edited features. If we realize our model area is too small or the height is too low, we cannot change these settings without converting our model area back to the concept design with this button here. 
After the button is pressed, our model area settings can be edited. However, all of our individual segment editing will be gone. We now know how to create our model area and fill it with custom buildings, vegetation and other objects. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video, where we will set up and start our simulation.